Hi, this video is about how to set up a standalone Splunk search head. This is typically required in Splunk distributed environments where search head is performing dedicated search head functionality. Basic difference between search head and indexer is search head do not have any data, neither it has indexing functionality, but it has web GUI running. As a contrast to indexer, where we typically turn off web GUI, but it is configured to receive and index data. Other than that, there is no difference between the two. They both get installed from same package. It is the configuration that changes their behavior. Desired end result of this video is shown here in this diagram, along with the minimum configuration required to achieve this. Tools that I may be using during this demonstration are Windows tail to observe logs on Windows system, Vim editor to create and modify configuration files, WinSCP to copy files from Windows to Linux machines, and lastly, the actual Splunk package. I will start with setting up search head on Windows machine by executing the already downloaded Splunk MSI package, answer some basic questions, and wait for setup to complete. Once the setup is finished, Splunk will automatically launch Web GUI and will require you to change the default password. Splunk is now ready with default web port as 8000. Now I need to change the configuration so that this instance will be standalone search head without any data and indexes. I prefer CLI to change my configuration files. Before I do that, I need to add Splunk to my default path. and add Splunk Home as system variable with proper path. Now I will modify my configuration files for Splunk in CLI or in command prompt. Keep one thing in mind when performing Splunk related operations in Windows CLI, make sure to run CMD as administrator. Otherwise, you can run into some issues. Here is an example. This CMD is running as administrator. And when I execute Splunk status, I get a proper response. However, when I do the same in CMD, which is not running as administrator, I get nothing. Here a question comes up. How can you tell if Splunk is running as search head only? Or it is also performing indexing functionality. Well, we can verify that by going to var live Splunk internal db db and look for hot buckets. If there are hot buckets, this instance is also performing indexing functionality. This behavior can be changed by modifying or creating outputs.conf file. Before I do that, I will launch another instance of CMD so that I can tail my Splunk logs located under Splunk var log Splunk and I will be telling Splunk D dot log. I can see my Splunk log. Now I will create outputs.conf under etc system local and I will add three stanzas shown here in this diagram. If you need more information about what each of these lines mean, please uh, refer to Splunk documentation about outputs.conf. These two IPs and associated ports are for my indexers that I have not yet set up. My Linux machines are set up and ready. These are the IPs that I have assigned them. However, I have not set up the Splunk application on them. Now I will restart my Splunk for the new configuration to take effect. Ideally, 
you would want to do Splunk B tool check to see if there are any typos in your configuration file. But I am skipping that for now. If my configuration was proper, the two IPs that I specified will show up in the logs. They will show up as fail because this search head is trying to reach out to indexer that does not exist. Now I will verify that this is a standalone search head and the hot buckets do not exist. In this folder I can see that hot buckets do not exist. Therefore my Splunk search head is ready. Now I will copy the tar gz file from my Windows desktop over to my Linux box to set up my indexer. I verified that my file exists under slash temp. It is recommended that Splunk should not be installed as root user or configured as root user on any Unix Linux boxes. Therefore, I am going to create a user Splunk. I want to install Splunk under slash opt. But I can see that any non-root user does not have access to this folder. I am going to modify the permissions and owner so that Splunk user can read, write and execute files inside slash opt folder. Then I switch user to Splunk and cd into slash opt to verify that Splunk user has all desired rights for this folder. I can use touch to verify write access in this folder by this user but that is not necessary. I am just going to untar file directly from slash tmp into this folder as Splunk user. My file was untarred successfully. Now I will modify my default path to include Splunk binaries. Also, I will define Splunk home variable. I log out and then log in for the new changes to take effect. Now I will work on my configuration files to set up this indexer. The first file is web.conf. It is located under etc system default and I will copy it from there onto etc system local. Now modify web.conf to disable web GUI. The other file that is required for this setup is inputs.conf. I am going to create a new inputs.conf file in etc system local and I will copy the stanza from my diagram directly into this inputs.conf. I am going to start Splunk for very first time by using Splunk start. However, this pulls up a long license. I am going to use dash dash accept dash license argument to auto accept the license. Splunk started successfully. Now I will verify the ports Splunk is listening on. To do that I will drop to root user and use netstat command and grep for Splunk. I switch over to my indexer logs and confirm that I see connected message in the logs. Now I need to tell my search head that this indexer is ready and accepting connections. I open up the web GUI of the search head, log in and then go to settings, distributed search. Here I need to add a new search peer. I will click on search peers and then I will click on new. Here I need to provide the IP with HTTPS. HTTP does not work so you need to provide HTTPS IP and the admin port. Admin port if I look at the indexer is shown here as 8089. For the username I will use admin and for the password I will use change me since I have not changed the password on the indexer. Clicking save brought up this error message. It is uh, saying uh, basically the time difference slash clock skew between this system and the intended peer. So that means the time is wrong either on this system or on my 
indexer and I suspect my indexer. I switch over to my indexer and sure enough it's off. I use NTP date to update my indexer local time. And there's the difference of 39,218 seconds. So the time is now correct on my indexer. I switch back to my search head and try to add it again. And this time I got a different error. Basically what it is saying is go back and change your default password. Remote login has been disabled for admin with the default password. Switch over to indexer and try to change the password. Oops, cannot do it as root. Need to switch user to Splunk and now change the password from default change me to something else. In my case, ABCD at 1234. Oops, a typo. I got the confirmation user admin has been edited. This means the default password has been changed. Now I will switch over to my search head and change the previously typed password. Previously I typed change me. My new password is ABCD at uh, 1234. And success. My indexer has been successfully peered with my search head. Today I created a standalone search head and set an indexer and added this indexer as a peer to this search head. In my next video I will set up indexer 2 and then I will set up the forwarders to send some data into these indexers.